Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to solve the logarithmic equation on the board. When you look at this equation, you will notice that the two log terms are in different unrelated bases. In this case, the change of base formula is not going to help us. To solve this equation, we are going to start with a very simple substitution. So, let d be equal to this. That is 1 plus root x. When we subtract 1 from both sides of this equation, we have that d minus 1 is going to be equal to root x. And when we square both sides of this equation, we are going to get rid of the square root sign. And we will have that d minus 1 squared is equal to x. The next thing we are going to do is to rewrite the original equation. We now have that log to base 2 of this, which is now equal to d, is equal to log to base 3 of x, which is now equal to d minus 1 squared. And the next thing we are going to do is to equate these two sides of the equation to a constant k. From this, we have that log to base 2 of d is equal to k. And log to base 3 of d minus 1 squared is also equal to k. Now, you know that when we have statements like this, it simply means that 2 to the power k is equal to d. And here, 3 to the power k is equal to d minus 1 squared. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to take square root of both sides of this equation. Of course, when we do that, we have that 3 to the power k to the power half is equal to d minus 1 squared to the power half. To open this bracket, we simply multiply these two powers. So here we have 3 to the power k over 2 is equal to, likewise, we multiply these two. 2 times half is equal to 1. So here we simply have d minus 1. But let us remember that d is equal to 2 to the power k. So this is 3 to the power k over 2 is equal to 2 to the power k minus 1. Now let us remember that 2 is the square root of 4. But we can also write this as 4 to the power half. So this equation can be written as 3 to the power k over 2 is equal to 4 to the power half to the power k minus 1. And of course, once more, to open the bracket, we multiply these two powers. So here we have 3 to the power k over 2 is equal to 4 to the power k over 2 minus 1. Now, let us rearrange this equation. Let us take 3 over to the right-hand side of the equation and take 1 over to the left-hand side of the equation. When we do that, minus 1 going over the equality sign becomes 1. And plus 3 going over the equality sign becomes minus 3. And now look at this equation. We have that 4 to power k over 2 minus 3 to power k over 2 is equal to 1. But we know that 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. That is 4 raised to power 1 minus 3 raised to power 1 is equal to 1. So that means that k over 2 must be equal to 1. And of course, when we cross multiply, we have that k is equal to 2. Now, 
we go back to this equation to find the value of d. We have that 2 to the power 2 is equal to d. We have that 4 is equal to d. We found the value of d. And now we go back to this equation to find the value of x. We have that x is equal to 4 minus 1 squared. That is equal to 3 squared, which of course is equal to 9. So we have that the value of x that satisfies this logarithmic equation is equal to 9. Now let us check if that is true. When we substitute 9 for x in this equation, we have that log to base 2 of 1 plus square root of 9 is equal to log to base 3 of 9. Here we have log to base 2. Square root of 9 is 3 plus 1, 4 is equal to log to base 3 of 9. Remember that 4 is equal to 2 squared. So here we have that log to base 2 of 2 to the power 2 is equal to log to base 3. 9 is 3 squared. 3 to the power 2. Applying the power rule to both sides of this equation, we can bring down these two exponents to the front to become multipliers. When we do that, we have that 2 times log to base 2 of 2 is equal to 2 times log to base 3 of 3. Now let us remember that log to base a of a is equal to 1. So log to base 2 of 2 is equal to 1 and log to base 3 of 3 is equal to 1. And we have that 2 times 1 is equal to 2 times 1. That means that really 9 is the solution to this logarithmic equation. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.